he thrifts it liquidation lounge let me know how the video and audio sounds uh, i tried to do a couple things to make it better i restarted Installed some things, yada, 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 liquidation. Lizanne, how's it going? Scott L. <clears throat> how's everyone's day going? Thanks for joining. Jennifer, Gina. All right. So a couple things. Let's talk about ASD coming up. Uh, today's thrift haul, which was measly. <laughs> it's working. Don't touch anything. Uh, death pile items, which I got to get over here. <laughs> which I wanted to show you, and I want to show you what I sold. So, all right, a couple shows going forward. As we uh, get close to the ASD, I'm leaving Saturday. Uh, for those of you that are going to ASD or are already there in Vegas, uh, I was thinking about I am going to do a kind of blog post, Facebook post about what to bring, what to look for. Um. Gina, first posh sale, nice. Last night, awesome. Uh, slow for me last night, a little slow for me today. Uh, thrift was slow, but all right, so ASD. A couple things I thought about today. I'm writing down a list of what I'm gonna bring. Uh, what I thought about today was water bottle. So bring a water bottle with you guys. Um, if you want a water bottle to uh, fill up as you walk around, there's plenty of spots within the convention center to fill up your water bottle, so do that. Uh, bring snacks with you. Uh, if you want to have some low cost alternatives, uh, put some protein bars, granola bars, pop tarts, something in your bag, uh, uh that you want to eat. Make sure it's a comfortable bag cause you're going to be walking a ton, uh, and wear good walking shoes. Uh, also there is a coffee shop within, I think it's the North hall or central hall. Can you guys hear my fridge down here? It's, I feel like it sounds really loud. Well, let me turn it down. See if that turns it off. There we go. All right. Sorry, that turned it off. All right. Yeah, so water bottle, good shoes, bag, uh, and bring down a notepad. Notepad, a pen to write things down because you're going to get a ton of business cards. And make sure you bring your own business cards. If you want to have people reach out to you, uh, definitely bring them. Uh, and a pen. So when I get business cards, I write on the back of their business cards what they're offering as well as what I want to buy from them because you're going to talk to a ton of people. So those are a couple things I thought about today. That's kind of what I wanted to let you guys know. But definitely a water bottle just because uh, water is kind of crazy expensive there. And uh, if you do have a water bottle, it is free. Um, so what I got today. So hey, the other, other, other ASD tips. Uh, Scott L. Haven't you been there? Location Lounge. I don't know if you've been yet. Uh, we had two teriyaki bowls and drinks last time. It was $42. Yeah, save the receipts. Another good tip for a business expense. Uh, they are, you can write it off. It is, uh, that is a business expense. Yeah, I usually get the, if I'm eating lunch in the convention center, I get the uh, chicken fingers. I think it's like eight, nine bucks. So look at doing that. Uh, what I got at the thrift store today, there was nothing. And when I say there was nothing, I only went to one. I was there probably 20 minutes. I did find one item for about four bucks. It is another Ralph Lauren shirt. Sorry if you can see that. It is Ralph Lauren large and it is knit Oxford. It is long sleeve. Again, it, it's one of those ones with a multicolored uh, polo horse on it. I saw comps on these for about 20 bucks with $4 shipping. So I am going to list it for $24.99. That is the only thing I found today. Surprising. And I did not buy anything off eBay. So there was no new, 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 no new listings with the stuff I have saved. Otherwise, I have about 30 items coming this week before I leave. Just gas, Karen. Hey, Karen, thanks for joining. Tell Adam, he said, I said, hi. Uh, yeah, Scott, definitely save all your receipts, write off everything for uh, your expenses, either at eBay Open or ASD. Uh, Office Depot has a four pack of reporter's notebooks, the size of one column of steno pad, very handy for taking notes. Yeah, so I have a little notebook. It's probably around this big, kind of that tall. And I'll take notes in it as I go. I am taking uh, notes to get ungated in certain things. 
So for example, Samsung, I need to get it ungated in uh, Hasbro and uh, long shots Nintendo. I don't know if I'd be able to get ungated in that, but I, I'm definitely taking things that I know I want to talk to and different items I want to find. So if I can place a small enough order where I can get ungated in it, I will try that. But definitely to uh, Lizanne, definitely bring a, a steno pad or a little notebook that you can write things down. Thanks for hopping in, saying hi. Thanks for coming. Liquidation lot's supposed to be here Thursday. Looks like Joey. Nice, Joey picked up a liquidation lot. That's awesome. Lego, that's another one. That's a great point, Lizanne. I, did, I think I did have Lego down. Lego is a good one if you can find. A lot of these wholesale liquidators within ASD have um, kind of like off-brand, not off-brand, um, smaller lots of certain items. So if you can find one and get a small order of Lego, you can definitely start selling them that. Uh, Chris, I'll give you my 20 bucks for fantasy football. Yeah, Scott, definitely uh, we'll meet up about fantasy football. And we got to hit up that pizza place. Hey, Joey. 112 here tomorrow. Oh, man, another tip. Bring breathable clothes because it, it, it will be hot as opposed to March when it is uh, kind of cooler. And I say cooler in a relative sense. 112 degrees is pretty hot and it's dry. It's like an oven. And you will be doing a ton of walking, so make sure you have clothes. Like, I'll be wearing probably these polo shirts that are wicking the polyester kind. Uh, so definitely water and comfortable clothes. And people range in clothes, right? I've seen people from uh, sweatpants to shorts to T-shirts, all the way up to khaki pants, uh, nice polo shirts, long sleeve shirts. It's all up to you and what you're comfortable in. Uh, there's, I want to say there is no dress code, but... Just dress respectively and or respectively and uh, respectably. There you go. Not respectively. Charlotte, what's going on? All right. So what I sold today, and Scott L, if you have any more ASD tips or liquidation lounges, definitely throw them in the chat. There's some good ones, but I am compiling notes. I will try to uh, pay. So you guys have the weekend and stuff. If you guys want to either add to it in the comments or in the Facebook group uh, or uh, in the shows as we go forward. All right. Um, I sold this. I took a best offer, an OSU Nike golf shirt for 20 bucks. If you guys can find Nike golf, definitely look for those. But again, guys, college sports logos. If you can find them, pick them up. That was a sale. Uh, this one I held on, out on. Uh, this is, uh, I find this in a lot of bike products, swimming products has it. Uh, it's TYR. It is a nice backpack. So I believe I got this for about five bucks from the thrift store. Someone wanted to best offer me uh, $27 for it. And I kind of contemplated doing it. But tonight someone got it as a or took full price at uh, 37 bucks. So shipping shouldn't be too bad. Uh, just be careful when you do backpacks. A lot of, if it has good padding in the back, it will be tough to fold. This one's not too bad. It should be able to fold up easily. Uh, but this will probably be a regional A or regional B, depending on if I can get it uh, folded up so it doesn't crush it. But uh, just be careful with backpacks and bags in terms of shipping. It could come back and bite you. Uh, just make sure you have your regionals and priority boxes. Those things help. Because if you have to find a box that's shaped for that, It'll, it might be harder to find. Uh, Miller's Ale House. Oh, I've, if that's a chain, right? Those are pretty good. We'll enjoy. Uh, last thing I sold. Now I got this from the bins. I always like these little handheld games. Uh, if you can find these, this is Bridge. I actually sold this for about 11 bucks. Shipping will probably be three three dollars three fifty, given the weight of it. Probably three. Uh, but if you can find these little handheld games, especially at the bins, and you get them for like a buck or less, it's easy money. It did sit for a little while, but it finally sold and made some money. So that's good to go. Only three sales. Uh, I did have two on Amazon. I actually sold one that was included in my first FBA shipment. It was a braid-tastic. Uh, you can make bracelets. You can braid your hair with it. It was brand new. And surprisingly enough, I got it from when I did tactical arbitrage. I used that software. And I bought a few units when I did my first FBA shipment probably, shoot, I don't know, 11 months ago at least. 
uh, and the last one finally sold and I didn't I probably made my money back after fees uh, and I only bought it for like 14 15 bucks but it did sit for a long time so that was my last tactical arbitrage uh, pickup and I bought it from Target get there early for good parking some of the vendors will sell oh yeah they'll sell your booth so if you're looking a lot of those people the vendors that come to ASD do not want to bring all that stuff back with them if you have the capital and you want to buy the whole booth you can do that as well uh, you can also buy the product like individual products like uh one booth was selling these theft or anti-theft backpacks that sold really well on ebay and i th think scott you got some uh i never got my order fulfilled that's another story but uh you can buy them from them and take them off the floor wednesday and i think it's after 3 p.m otherwise you can't bring product off the floor so that is one of the reasons why I stayed until Wednesday this time. So I'm hoping to bring product back with me for very cheap because they don't want to ship it back to where they're from. Toner. Looks like Scott got a good deal on Toner. Sold it for, wow, 160 bucks. Nice. Best offer, 150 which is why you stayed until Wednesday. This, so this is my first show that I'm staying till the last day. But we'll see. All right. Couple, I want to go through some couple. So I have a death pile box here. Uh, as I get certain things from either the bins or these are books. I'm not going to show you those, but certain things from the bins that I don't think will do too well, I throw them in the box, and I'm probably going to lot these up or uh, list them onesies, twosies. We'll see. But this is my death pile box, and I think I titled it "Some Death Pile Items." Um, that. Cool shirt I showed you, which had some holes in it before. I have a lot of ties in here. I've actually have I'm having more movement on my ties now, uh, and my ties came from the bins. So I have a lot of the off-brand ties in here, and I'll show you a couple of ones that I have off-brand. I'm probably going to list as a lot. I'm probably going to throw a good twenty together, but uh, we'll see there. I got this Bill Gates. If you can find this book. Uh, there is a little water damage on it, kind of right there. I don't know if you can see, but uh, it's unused. And if you find it new, I forget what the, the comps were, but uh, this was the bins item. I might put it up, but we'll see. I got a couple kids' jerseys, but there is staining on them. This is a Jason Taylor Dolphins jersey. Uh, the staining is kind of minimal. You can kind of see a couple spots. I might list it for about eight or nine bucks, but it doesn't look too bad, right? A couple ties, a Pierre Cardin tie, as you can see. A lot of the ties, if it's kind of higher name brand, I'll pick it up. If it's from the bins usually, but not from the thrift store. A couple of cool uh, tie bar. I've never heard of the tie bar. Club room, I think that's, uh, I have no idea. I want to say Ralph Lauren, not, what is that? Someone tell me what the club room is. I know that logo, but I don't want to say the wrong name. Uh, Erm, I can't say this name, Zenga, whatever that Zenga brand is. This one's kind of wrinkled though. That should do pretty well, right? That brand, Zenga, Ermend, gosh, I won't even try it. Of course, I can't even try to pronounce it on video. I think that one does pretty well. Bill Gates 99 selling for between 20 and 25. So I might, I'll probably put that up then. I'll put that up and just say there's a little bit of a discoloration right there. Put that one up. Um, I mean, a couple of cool colors. Jeffrey Bean. A lot of these I'll just lot up. Brooks Brothers. There's a ton in here. I mean, I can go through this all day, but Pierre Cardin again. But yeah, so I just started, I started stackpiling all my ties in here. I have a ton. Look at that. So I'm probably just going to list these as one lot. Maybe I'll do a dollar a tie and do like buy it now for four ninety nine. Club room is Macy's. So yeah, look at that. I have tons of ties everywhere. So get rid of those. So I've yeah. Even if I did fifty cents a tie, it'd be all right. Pop them in a flat rate for regional A. Get those going. Picked up this scarf, OSU Buckeyes. I was going to list this locally, Ohio State. I just never got around to it. Buckeyes has the logo on it, Ohio State. Uh, Princess Bride cards? 
Pick those up. Don't ask me why I picked all this stuff up. Some more ties. Look at that. I picked all the good ones out. Uh, Express. I probably got those because I like the color. Our Alfani. Alfani does okay. Express again. Chaps. I've sold a couple chaps ties. So this is kind of cool. So with ties, what I'll do is I'll measure the length of the tie this way. I'll measure it that way. I'll measure the thickest point from here to here. And then uh, usually on this small end portion, it will tell you, uh, usually it's 100% silk. But uh, And then I'll take a picture of the front, the back, and the small end. But the Ralph Lord, the, these uh, chaps ties, I actually just sold one for about $10. And that was all profit minus shipping. So I'll probably list that one. Uh, what else? What other cards did I pick up? Uh, these are Columbus. Some Columbus cards. Downtown Columbus. I thought those were cool. Uh, last thing, pretty cool. Oh, I got these. I need to list these. So these are Operation Racky Freedom cards. They only sell, I think, about seven, eight bucks. But these are unopened, so I probably should put those up. And the last thing, really, of value in this box is this. This is kind of cool. It's unopened. It is. Uh, Looks like to be from Europe, given the pounds on it. But it is a uh, Europe, France, UEFA bag. And I think these sell anywhere between 8 and $12 on eBay, but just haven't listed yet. So that's my death box. I have a little or one over here, but I tend to just throw things in there. Uh, if a small group come to ASD, want to meet up Tuesday night for dinner and drinks, let us know. It would be fun to meet you guys. Yeah, Liquidation Lounge, we are definitely uh, so... Just to reiterate, if you're not part of the PS101 group, make sure you go sign up for it. There is a RSVP. I believe you get a free drink in their drawing. There's raffles. Uh, that is, uh, that is. I think it's Sunday night. I'll double check. But I think it's Sunday night. Uh, but, yeah, if we want to do something Monday, Tuesday, uh, for those of you that are still in town, it looks like we. Uh, if you guys want to do some drinks or something, even Monday night, if you want to grab a beer, let me know. But, uh, yeah. We'll, uh, we'll, I'll, I'll do a couple more ASD discussion topics as we get closer this week. But hopefully I'll have more products to show you guys this week. Um, get some and get, get my stuff into FBA just because I won't be able to ship it out for a week and a half. So that's all I had, guys. Hopefully you guys have some, uh, some more sales tonight. Get some stuff listed if you haven't done it already. We're going to do some pizza. So if you want to do some pizza for lunch, it looks like Scott, myself, probably Darren will do some pizza. Whoever wants to join us there as well, let us know. Uh, but otherwise, we'll be posting everywhere. So follow us all on uh, the Facebook group, Instagram, as well as YouTube. We'll do some videos. So thanks for joining. Hit the like button. If you're not subscribed, add to the fact. Leave a comment down below if you have a question, and we'll talk to you tomorrow night. Thanks for coming. See ya.